Hey there guys, what's going on? I am Dr. Dave, the RV Dummy. And yes, I have been actually helping RVers for 1 50th of a century. That's a long time, or is it? Hey, I've got a lot of good stuff for you. Thanks so much for being with me. I really appreciate it. It's kind of a rainy, gray day out here in Salt Lake City. Um, admittedly, I have not been doing a ton of RVing, not as much as RVing as I would have liked to have been this past winter. It's just been, we've had a lot of snow, so I've spent a lot of time on the mountains. And um, getting the RV ready, though, for some great, great spring trips coming out, which um, coming up, which Yoko and I talked to you a little bit about last time. And we'll continue to chat about that because I'd love to meet as many of you as possible um, this coming spring, summer, as we get full force into the RV season. Um, if you wouldn't mind starting off this video today, give me a real quick thumbs up like if you want to. If you can, I promise it's going to be a good video today and you know I like you, so like me back. Give me, a, give me a little like. It does help the channel. Greatly appreciated. Let's get into it right away. Um, I will tell you, um, Yoko and I were supposed to be going to the um, Utah RV show today, but we got up. We had some family in town. We took them to the airport, and by the time it got around to going or you know thinking about going, it just was kind of gloomy, rainy, overcast, and I wasn't even positive if the whole thing's going to be indoors or not. So we just decided, you know, let's let's hold off. Let's not do it. Let's do some other things today. So one thing I am doing instead of going to the RV show, I'm actually speaking to you on this video. And I've got some really great questions that have come in, questions and comments that have come in over the past few weeks or so. So let me let me read a few of those for you. Um, Cindy Hansen says. I was so happy to see a new video from you. The places you were going to sound like so much fun. Cindy, that's, first of all, thanks so much for that. And that's the greatest thing about having an RV. We can go wherever we want to, whenever we want to, and for as long as we want to. So, um, again, Yoko and I have been doing this for quite some time now. We love the lifestyle. We love meeting new people. We love seeing new places and exploring things. And um, so, Cindy, thanks. There's there's nothing like it. And we hope to be able to see you on the road at a campground coming sometime soon. Um, Noah Hurley says... Um, as an RV sales representative, I really enjoyed the video on how to outsmart any RV salesman. Especially the beginning, one thing I would add, being the opposite side of this video, is that not all people do business the same way. So don't have a preconceived ex expectation to be hit with some of these gimmicks that Dave talked about on that video. Some put people before profits. I'm proud to be one of the people to represent a dealership that does exactly that. So Noah, thanks so much for that message. I wanna make it very clear that yeah, um, whenever I do a video on sales tactics that RV salesmen have or unscrupulous people, things like that, I am not in any way insinuating that all RV people are bad people. All RV people on the sales side and the repair side, are they're, they're not bad people. But there are some bad apples out there, which I know everybody would agree with. That's why I put the videos out there to just warn my friends and my subscribers. You do have to be careful. But if you meet somebody like Noah, then you got it made because Noah's going to take good care of you in the most ethical and honest way possible. I believe, I believe that. Herbert Webb says, it's very nice to see Yoko in your last video. Be sure to visit the town of Escalante when in southern Utah as well as Kodachrome Park. You heard we've been through Escalante. We've never actually, I don't think I am familiar with Kodachrome Park, but um, on your recommendation, I will be sure to look it up. So thanks so much for that. Um, De Denny, Denny Medieris says, Yoko is prettier than you, meaning me. Yoko is prettier than you. Well, yeah, I'm not that pretty. I should have Yoko on here full time doing the channel, doing the videos, because I think people would like to see her a lot more than they would like to see me. I just have a feeling. I don't know why, but I just think that's true. And I, But the, the problem is I don't think Yoko would be up to doing full-time videos. I just don't, you know, she's got so many things going in her life and she, 
like I've got nothing going. That's why I have the time to do this. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> but um, I could try to ask her to be on more videos. Let's be patient. Let's see if she would, um, she'll oblige. But I will tell you this, as we get on the road this spring and we're doing more and more from the RV, I promise you, Yoko will be more visible, more available for uh, being on the video. So just, just wait. As I said, sometimes in the winter, it's, it's just a bit of a tough season. I know many of you RV full-time all year round. We're not full-timers. And in the winter, Yoko and I, just we spend a lot of our time, since we're based out of Salt Lake City now, we spend a lot of our time on the mountain skiing. We got into cross-country skiing lately. We do, we're very, very active. We do a lot. And sometimes when it comes down to being here and being able to do all these mountain things or taking a trip in the RV, being in the mountains here skiing, and all that stuff wins out. So again, as we get a little bit warmer and out of this snowy, snowy, and right now here in Salt Lake, rainy kind of, um, we're gonna be doing more and more, more and more live from the RV, so bear with us, I promise you. Okay, um, next we have Phil Z. Phil says, regarding never financing an RV, my cash is making me more money. Why would I take it out of my mutual funds? They have more than doubled in the last 18 months. Wait a minute. Let's get back to that in a second. More than doubled in the last 18 months? We'll, we'll, we'll check that out. I'm making good percent on my money. I can finance anything I want for 4 point something percent. You let your money work for you. Use other people's for less. Phil, I respect what you're saying. First of all, I'm not sure what mutual funds that you're in that they've doubled in the last 18 months. I'd like you to let me know what's done. Now, there's no question the market has done very well and it continues, as I'm recording this, it's continuing to do very, very well. We're at record highs um, in the Dow, the S&P, the NASDAQ, but doubling? Doubling in the last eight, I don't think so. Anyway, one more thing, Phil. Um, there's no guarantee. See, when you say that you can make more money on your mutual funds than, you, than it would cost you to take a loan out, um, at four point something percent, you're you're not factoring risk into that at all. Now, if you think there's no risk in doing that, then do it all day long. Then why don't you just take money out from your house and buy things? I mean, you know, if if there's if there's if it's so guaranteed that um, you're going to be making money by leaving your mutual funds alone and borrowing money at a lower rate, then let's just do this all day long and borrow all kinds of money. It's, it's not the case. It's never been the case because, again, it's very easy to say that, but you're not factoring anything about risk into the equation. It's, it's not going to work, Phil. Don't do it. Don't, don't take that risk. If you've made so much money on your, mutual, on your mutual funds, pull some of it out and pay cash for your rig or for whatever you want to buy. Don't borrow money. Please don't do that. Next we have, uh, next up is um, a brand new subscriber, My Pink Elephant Life, she goes by. And I want you to listen to this very, very carefully. She says, I cannot thank you enough for this video. I'm watching and learning as we plan to get a Class B RV very soon. The sooner the better. My husband and I love to travel, but our time is getting short. He has traumatic encephalopathy syndrome, a progressive neurodegenerative brain syndrome. We have a live and light trailer, but setup is too hard. I want to get something with minimal setup and easy to drive. I feel blessed to have found your channel. My Pink Elephant Life, I feel blessed that you found my channel, that you're one of my subscribers now because I love people like you. I mean, you're. I feel horrible that your husband, your husband's day. Well, all of our days are are limited. I mean, we, you know, we're nobody's going to live forever. But it sounds like you guys love to travel, and now he's got this degenerative brain disease, and things like this are unpredictable. We just never know what's going to happen. Whether he'll have some very good years and decline very slowly, or it, if it comes on quickly and, and the decline is is fast. That's so. I'm so glad you're getting into this RV thing. Don't waste any time. Get into it. Take some great trips. Cherish every moment that you have together. Have Just have fun. Because RVing is great, and it's great for something like this when you can get out with your loved one or loved ones and experience 
this beautiful country and everything it has to offer, the beauty from the East Coast to the Midwest to the central portion, to the north, to the south, to the east, to the Rockies, to the to the west, to the Pacific Ocean. There's so much beauty here. My pink elephant life. God bless you. Hope you guys are good for a long time to come. I really hope so. I'd like my my viewers to please, if you can. I hope nobody gets offended because people do get offended very easily these days. Send them a prayer, please, my pig elephant life and her husband. Send them prayers and maybe send them energy. And let's see if we can get them going for quite some time, having some fun out there on the road in RVs. Life is very fragile, and we never know we never know what's going to happen. I've got a newsletter that I put out every two weeks, and I think my lead article in this upcoming newsletter is going to be something like this. I've been thinking about this for a while. Um Every time we leave the house, every time we say goodbye to a loved one, to a spouse, to a significant other, to a, to a close friend, to a family member, every time we say goodbye, I'm going out for the day, I'm going to work, I think we should say goodbye and give them a kiss as, as if it's the last time we will ever see them. Because we just never know. The world is crazy. Things happen. Life is fragile. It's precious. And we just, we just never know. So... Let's make sure we tell our loved ones how much we love them. And when we say goodbye and we kiss and we hug, make it real. Make it real. Don't make it just a fake. Mm. Bye. See you later. No. Make it. Shh. Send the energy. Send the energy to our loved ones and just let them understand how much, how much they really mean to us. Thanks so much for being with me. I'm Dr. Dave. We'll be out on the road RVing pretty soon. It's, sometimes it's tough doing videos when I'm not really actually in the RV and on the road. It can be tough. So bear with me. We'll have some great ones coming up for you. But um, until then, um, I'm Dr. Dave, the RV dummy. Don't accept any imposters. I am the only RV dummy out there. There are plenty of people that pretend to be RV dummies. I'm the real one. So until next time, see you later. Bye.